Hey, hey everybody. everybody. Well, welcome to another episode of Trendy and See What's the Best Jameson. We got the lineup here. And you know what? Um, he's Trendy. You're C. I'm C. Um, and I think the significance here is that we, you know, St. Patrick's Day is upon us. It is. St. Patrick ran the snakes out of Ireland. Well, and amongst other things. Uh, yeah, he's got to be a saint for something. I'm sure he's done other great things. Yeah. Um, notable <laughs> things. Um, but here we are. We have kind of like the four, um, the base lineup, if you will, Yeah. of Jameson. Sure, there are other expressions, but these are kind of like the most popular. Um, for sure. And we, we've had, there's other in the lineup. Like the crested and whatnot, but mm -hmm. this is what we have in front of us today. Let's yeah. just explain the lineup a little bit. We've got the original, classic yes. original Jameson's, which is, you know, delicious in its own. Yeah. Uh, the IPA edition, which isn't India Pale Ale. No, it's Irish Pale, Irish Ale. Pale Ale. And then we've got the Black Barrel, which is like extra charcoaly dark goodness. We'll barrel filtered yeah. Oh. yeah and then the stout edition which is uh self from 8d brewery yes. Yes. yes yes so um okay so we're gonna you're first you're gonna take a turn you're gonna taste through these four relatively quickly if possible you're gonna pick your order one through four one being the best four being the worst the plan is we're gonna do this as like a the speediest round we possibly can. Okay. Um, which we which said. actually, last time I did this, I was faster than you, which is, never happens. Yeah, so um, I'll do my best to be quick, but uh, why don't you, you know what? Let me, Let's let just me pour it in the order that you got. Yeah, okay. okay. We're gonna Whatever. Get here. Okay, so this is the original. Jameson original, it is 40% alcohol. This whole lineup is 40% alcohol, so is, they do yeah. compare against each other that way. Um, and you know, we've, we've had moments with each of these very much. Definitely. So it, it's an exciting month. Like this is a March, 2022 mm -hmm. and, uh, the luck of the Irish will really, which one will be the luckiest we'll night which you not know. Now the black girl has a cork. It does. Sets which, it apart from the rest of the crew. It does. Here. Now, is that aesthetic? Thing gonna get in the way of my ooh, ooh. my nose buds, cloud, and my taste buds. Cloud your judgment. Good stout cask though. Like I don't know that to me that that talks to me as well. True. So I'm gonna do a quick nosing round. Yeah. Sure. Potentially a second quick nose. And I think the thing that's tough about Jameson, carry on, is that you're gonna be tasting items that are basically all from the same house style. House style, so like, all forty percent. There's very kind of little variation besides Subtle. cask influence, In which I guess cases, is yes. a big thing. But anyway, okay, here we go. We're starting with the classic. But to your point, it's not like they're all separate distillates from like different mm. grains and stuff like that. No. They're all like basically the same kind of like mash bill recipe, if you will. Nice, just <laughs> kind of cereal style grainy notes to that one. A mm -hmm. little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the IPA, Irish Pale Ale. Mm -hmm. This one has a little bit more of like a grapefruity, hoppy vibe to it. Not, not too overpowering. They're all quite like mellow on the nose, I would say. This one, the black bush. Oh, black. Not, not black. Black bush. barrel. Sorry, black bush mills. Yep, black barrel. This actually seems to have a little bit more of like a thickness to the viscosity of mm. the nose or something like there's some rich flavors going on there right 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 okay and last but not least the stout edition oh man kind of similar in that sense it's got like a like creamy similar to this one? yeah yeah like there's a maybe a little bit more going on in the nose okay okay coffee styles yeah if i you, mean if you had to rate the noses Right, right now, I would say one, two, oh. three, four. Oh wow! Okay. Okay. okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a taste. Starting with the original, classic Jameson. Kind of what we said on the nose. It's like pretty soft, 
really palatable, really easy drinking stuff. Um, it's relatively like swift, you know, like it's interesting. It's there and it's gone. An it's interesting nice. fact about the um, Jameson is it's like it's corn and barley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, and then it's unmalted French, barley too. French corn and unmal right. unmalted yeah. barley. Oh, this nose is picking up a bit for me now that I've actually mm. had a sip of the classic, but oh, yeah. let's, let's sip the IPA one. Mmm. 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 Maybe on flavor, this is actually a little bit... Why? I think it because it has a kind of a... Actually, this time, it has a little bit of a, like a florally, soapy oh, yeah. kind of okay, okay, okay. vibe, but effervescent and there's a tingle to it Th this one's a little flatter but maybe not like it's a, it's a good one it's a classic in its own way okay on to the mm, black okay okay you like the nose mm -hmm. mm. Mm. and i quite like the flavor actually this has a little bit more depth or something going on can't quite pick up what I it rem is. I do it. remember drinking it and being like, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I know it's like good. Yeah, it's just kind of like a, a boosted version. I remember it being. An it's, it's, it's actually more similar to this, but boosted. But like in a way, it seemed like it was like the viscosity. Kind yeah, of like, yeah, totally. It was just like the thickness oily of it, thickness. Like, thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, last but not least, stout cask from the cask mates lineup. It's kind of chocolatey, coffee-ish. A little bit sweeter than maybe the mm. other ones. Mm. Mm. Okay. Do you have your answers? I think I have my answers, okay. but I'm going to go between my top two Ooh. now. Okay. Okay. So Wait, I'm can you give us fourth place? Can you give us last? I right think fourth place... Oh, God, that's a tough one, actually. Okay, what are the... Okay, give us bottom two, top two then. I think this might be my fourth place right now. <laughs> Let's not move it forward. Let's move, move it back. To the back. Okay. okay. So what's in third place then if you had to? Um, I'm going to go with... Wow. You're going between regular Jameson. I might be. And Black Barrel. That's cool. Like, that actually speaks to how like, good regular Jameson Regular Jameson, Jameson is like, yes, there's not... It's classically God, good. It's, it's classically just classically good. good. Let's hold on. Like, there's things I like about all of them, yeah. but like, if I'm gonna just like sip and not worry about it, this might be like maybe it's like because you're not overthinking it. It's just just tastes really good. There's like there's nothing wrong with that. You know what? I'm gonna stick with that. This is my first. Oh. My second. Yeah. Third, fourth. Okay. For, yeah. Okay. okay. So in the end, first. Yep. So, Second, third, and your palate changes all the time. Fourth, but because I've had some moments with all of these, but right? Sure. Uh, I I gotta say, like maybe it's the aesthetic, but the color is beautiful. The viscosity is beautiful. The uh, the whole presentation package package is really quite nice. So cool. Okay, so I'm the best go with this Jameson one. is Black Barrel. Cool. All right, my turn. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, it is your turn. I'm going to pour these for you. Uh, same order as last time. Oop. Yeah, we don't want to be... Um, we don't want to mess with the... Uh, no. The, the, whatever you call it. The we don't want to be accused of, you know, switching things up in an in a unfair manner towards the Jameson lineup. That's right. Let's put them in the same spots. See if we get the same results. You never know. It's happened before. It almost always happens that way. But there's also been times where we pick the polar opposites. Okay, how about this? I'm gonna taste from this side I first. That's just going to get. Okay, you're side. right. Okay, I'll taste from this side first. Okay, regular JMO. Here we go. Regular JMO. Yeah, it has that nice, fresh sweetness. A little bit of that sherry. A little yeah. bit of that like. Honeyed note, a yep. little bit of multi grainy, just so good. Okay, on to the IPA cask, Irish Pale Ale. Instantly hit with 
what I would think was like an India pale ale, yeah. grapefruit, citrus note. But it does have the underlying sweet Jameson malts to it. Okay. Onto the black barrel. Black barrel has something more of like, it's maybe on a fig note right yes like a figgy like fruity it's like that rich sweet fruitiness yep with like it still has the like sherry notes but it has like this kind of depth of richness can i to say it. it has a bit more of a pot still ver- mm. style to it mm. and then the cask mates all of a sudden like hits me with that toffee note it's like a little bit darker and richer if i was to go noses I'm going cask mates, black barrel second, regular JMO third, and IPA fourth. Interesting. That's on the nose. That's on the nose. Okay. So now I'm going to line them back up and I'm going to taste them in the same order you did. Oh, yeah. God forbid. You don't so want to mess up science. You don't want A lot the, of people have been doing that. You don't want days. the comments to yeah. get out of control. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, this isn't a uh, triple blind or anything like that. So. No, no. I mean, in reality... This is a zero blind. When we do the blind, it's probably... <laughs> it's still up. This is fine. <laughs> it's quick. It's a quick hitter video. Regular Jameson is just so swift and soft and just smooth and sweet and honeys. All and, the words. Oh, yeah. It's like... It's, it's, it's just so good. Okay. That's regular Jameson. Here we go, getting into the IPA cask. Right. It is quite like citra hop to me. Yeah. Which we like our IPAs. Which, what it does is it gives it this um, bitter bite to it, but it's like the bitterness in some kind of way contrasts with the sweetness that is, I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So right now, to me, regular Jameson is right. It's better. Right. Here we go. Black girl, and I just got this like mm. kind of green vegetal kind of smell off of it. Here we go. Black girl is just so like calm and rich and. Sweet and grainy with the honeys and the like the oats and like you were saying like that like the honey nut Cheerios with the almonds falling down the honey on the advertisement yeah, yeah. like it's all just kind of <laughs> happening right. there. To me, I don't want to influence your final decision, but to me it's like a boosted version of this. It kind of is. Yeah, yeah. you're right. But do I like that? And do I want that? You'd, I don't know. The, the castmates is just getting more toffee, chocolatey as I smell it. It's great. Okay, here we go. And that's, some people love that, right? It's hitting the market for what it is. Mm. And yeah, there's a little bit of that like coffee influence on the aftertaste. Yep. A little bit of a chappy kind of like a dry aftertaste. El Chapo? <sighs> oh, this is hard. So, mm. I did one round, by the way. So, I'm not saying you have to. You can go through it again, but do you have, do you have a to... thought? No, I'm good. I'm you ready. know? You think you know? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Number four. What's your fourth place? IPA cast in okay. fourth place. Okay. Third place? Regular JMO. Oh. Second place. Ooh. Black Barrel. I'm going Stout Cast first. Really? Yeah. And I think that was my third. Third? I think you had IPA in last. Right. Yeah. So IPA Cast, we both had in fourth. Yeah. You had this second. No, this was my fourth, wasn't it? Was it fourth? I don't know. We'll we'll rewatch it. You guys watch. You probably know. Um, either way, this was towards the bottom of yours. Yeah. At the top of mine. This was your top. Yeah. I had a second. Yeah. This was your second. I had a third. So it's like 
We're p- so like, these, these two kind of end up being the consistent ones, really. In for a way. Them, yeah, in a way, yeah. For sure. But I mean, probably this one is like if you were to say, it came in first and then second. Yeah. So it's. Yeah. I mean, Black Barrel is really solid. It's but really like, nice. The whole lineup's great. And like Jameson, as a regular whiskey, is like probably the most unoffensive whiskey you could get. Totally. That's like, it's, it's a great starter whiskey for people, but it's also like people like us who. You know we're we're seasoned enough you can still appreciate it oh i love it yeah okay great uh click like subscribe leave a comment check out our patreon all the good stuff see you on the flippity flop <laughs> cheers that's that's my line <laughs> <laughs>